South India is the area encompassing India's states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Telangana as well as the Union territories of Andaman and Nicobar, Lakshadweep and Puducherry, occupying 19.31% of India's area. South India includes the southern part of the peninsula Deccan Plateau and is bounded by the Bay of Bengal in the east the Arabian Sea in the west and the Indian Ocean in the south. The geography of the region is diverse with two mountain ranges the western and eastern Ghats bordering the plateau heartland. Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Tungabhadra and Vagai rivers are important non-perennial sources of water. Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Korimbatore, Kochi and Visakhapatnam are the largest urban areas in the region. Majority of the people in South India speak one of the four major Dravidian languages, Telugu, Tamil, Kannada and Malayalam. During its history, a number of dynastic kingdoms ruled over parts of South India whose invasions across southern and southeastern Asia impacted the history and culture. In those regions, major dynasties that were established in South India include the Cheras, Koles, Pandyas, Pallavas, Satavahanas, Chalukyas. Rashtrakutas and Vijayanagara. European countries entered India through Kerala and the region was colonized by Britain and other nations. After experiencing fluctuations in the decades immediately after Indian independence, the economies of South Indian states have registered higher than national average growth over the past three decades. While South Indian states have improved in some socio-economic metrics, poverty continues to affect the region much like the rest of the country, although it has considerably decreased over the years. HDI in southern states is high and the economy has undergone growth at a faster rate than most northern states. Literacy rates in southern states is higher than the national average with approximately 80% of the population capable of reading and writing. The fertility rate in South India is 1.9, the lowest of all regions in India. Etymology South India also known as Peninsula India has been known by several other names. The term Deccan referring to the area covered by the Deccan Plateau that covers most of peninsular India excluding the coastal areas is an anglicized form of the word Prakrit Deccan derived from the Sanskrit word Dakshina meaning south. Carnatic derived from Karnad or Karunad meaning high country has also been associated with South India. History Ancient era carbon dating on ash mounds associated with Neolithic cultures in southern India date back to 8000 BCE. Artifacts such as ground stone axes and minor copper objects have been found in the region. Towards the beginning of 1000 BCE, iron technology spread through the region. However, there does not appear to be a fully developed Bronze Age preceding the Iron Age in South India. The region was in the middle of a trade route that extended from Musaris to Arakamaju link in the Mediterranean and East Asia. Starting from the Sangam period, trade happened with Phoenicians, Romans, Greeks, Arabs, Syrians, Jews and Chinese. The region was part of the ancient Silk Road connecting the Asian continent in the east and the west. Several dynasties ruled over the region such as the Cheras of Karuva, the Koles of Thanjavur, the Pandyas of Madurai, the Pallavas of Kanchi, the Satavahanas of Amaravati, the Kadambas of Banavasia, the Western Ganges of Kola, the Chalukyas of Badami, the Hoysalis of Belur, the Rashtrakutas of Manyakata, the Karkati of Urugalu and the Vijayanagara Empire. After repeated invasions from the Sultanate of Delhi and the fall of Vijayanagara Empire in 1646, the region was ruled by Deccan Sultanates. Paligas and Nayak governors of Vijayanagara Empire who declared independence. Colonial era The Europeans arrived in 15th century and by the middle of the 18th century, the French and the British were involved in a protracted struggle for military control of South India. After the defeat of Tipu Sultan in the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War in 1799 and the end of Ellore Mutiny in 1806, 
The British consolidated power over much of present-day South India with the exception of French Pondicherry. The British Empire took control of the region from the British East India Company in 1857. During the British colonial rule, the region was divided into the Madras Presidency, Hyderabad State, Mysore, Travancore, Kochi, Vizier and Agram and a number of other minor princely states. The region played a major role in the Indian independence movement and of the 72 delegates who participated in the first session of the Indian National Congress at Bombay in December 1885, 22 hailed from South India. Post-independence After Indian independence in 1947, the region was organized into four states Madras State, Mysore State, Hyderabad State and Travancore Kochi. The States Reorganization Act of 1956 reorganized the states based on linguistic lines resulting in the creation of the new states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. As a result of this act, Madras state retained its name with Kanyakumari district added to from Travancore Kochi. The state was subsequently renamed Tamil Nadu in 1968. Andhra Pradesh was created with the merger of Andhra State with the Telugu-speaking districts of Hyderabad State in 1956. Kerala was created with the merger of Malabar District and the Katharagod Taluk of South Kanara districts of Madras State with Travancore Kochi. Mysore State was reorganized with the addition of districts of Bellary in South Kanara and the Kolegal Taluk of Korimbatore District from the Madras State. The districts of Belgaum, Bijapur, North Kanara and Dalwad from Bombay State, the Kannada majority districts of Baidar, Racha and Gulbarga from Hyderabad State and the province of Korg, Mysore State was renamed as Karnataka in 1973. The Union Territory of Puducherry was created in 1954 comprising the previous French enclaves of Pondicherry, Karaikal, Janim and Mahay. The Lakhadiva Islands which were divided between South Kanara and Malabar districts of Madras state were united and organized into the Union Territory of Likshadweep. Telangana was created on June 2, 2014 by bifurcating Andhra Pradesh and comprises 10 districts in northwestern Andhra Pradesh. Geography South India is a peninsula in the shape of an inverted triangle bound by the Arabian Sea on the west by the Bay of Bengal on the east and by the Vindhya and Satpura ranges on the north. The Narmada flows westwards in the depression between the Vindhya and Satpura ranges which define the northern spur of the Deccan Plateau. The Western Ghats runs parallel along the western coast and the narrow strip of land between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea forms the Kangan region. The Western Ghats continue south until Kanyakumari. The Eastern Ghats runs parallel along the eastern coast and the strip of land between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal forms the Coromandel region. Both the Ghats meet of the Nilgiri Mountains. The Nilgiris run in a crescent approximately along the borders of Tamil Nadu with northern Kerala and Karnataka, encompassing the Palakkada and Wayanad hills, and the Satyamangalam ranges, and extending onto the relatively low-lying hills of the eastern Ghats. On the western portion of the Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh border forming the Tirupati and Anamalai hills. The low-lying coral islands of Likshadweep are situated off the southwestern coast of India. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie far off the eastern coast of India. The Polk Strait and the chain of low sandbars and islands known as Rama's Bridge separates the region from Sri Lanka, which lies off the southeastern coast. The southernmost tip of mainland India is at Kanyakumari where the Indian Ocean meets the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. The Deccan Plateau is the elevated region bound by the mountain ranges. The plateau rises to 100 meters in the north and to more than 1 kilometer in the south.
forming a raised triangle within the downward pointing triangle of the Indian subcontinent's coastline. It also slopes gently from west to east resulting in major rivers arising in the western Ghats and flowing east into the Bay of Bengal. The volcanic basalt beds of the Deccan were laid down in the massive Deccan traps eruption which occurred towards the end of the Cretaceous period between 67 and 66 million years ago. Layer after layer was formed by the volcanic activity that lasted 30,000 years and when the volcanoes became extinct, they left a region of highlands with typically vast stretches of flat areas on top like a table. The plateau is watered by east-flowing rivers Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Bagai. The major tributaries include Penar, Tungabhadra, Bhavani and Thamirabharani. Climate the region has a tropical climate with rainfall dependent on monsoons. In the Köppen climate classification, it is a non-arid climate with mean temperatures of minimum 18 degrees Celsius. The most humid is the tropical monsoon climate characterized by moderate to high year-round temperatures and seasonal heavy rainfall above 2,000 mm per year. The tropical climate is experienced in a strip of southwestern lowlands abutting the Malabar coast. The western Ghats and the islands of Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar are also subject to this climate. The tropical wet and dry climate Drier than areas with a tropical monsoon climate prevails over most of inland peninsula region except for a semi-arid rain shadow east of the western Ghats. Winter and early summer are long and dry periods with temperatures averaging above 18 degrees Celsius. Summer is exceedingly hot with temperatures in low-lying areas exceeding 50 degrees Celsius and the rainy season lasts from June to September with annual rainfall averaging between 750 to 1,500 mm across the region. Once the dry northeast monsoon begins in September, most precipitation in India falls on Tamil Nadu, leaving other states comparatively dry. The hot semi-arid climate predominates the land east of the Western Ghats and the Cardamom Hills. The region, which includes Karnataka, inland Tamil Nadu and western Andhra Pradesh gets between 400 to 750 mm of rainfall annually with hot summers and dry winters with temperatures around 20 to 24 degrees Celsius. The months between March to May are hot and dry with mean monthly temperatures hover around 32 degrees Celsius, with 320 mm precipitation and without artificial irrigation, this region is not suitable for agriculture. The southwest monsoon from June to September accounts for most of the rainfall along the region. The Arabian Sea branch of the southwest monsoon hits the western Ghats along the coastal state of Kerala and moves northwards along the Kangan coast, with precipitation on coastal areas west of the western Ghats. The high western Ghats mountain range blocks the winds from reaching the Deccan Plateau and hence the leeward region receives very little rainfall. The Bay of Bengal branch of southwest monsoon flows over the Bay of Bengal heading towards northeast India, picking up moisture from the Bay of Bengal. The Coromandel coast does not receive much rainfall from southwest monsoon due to the shape of the land. Tamil Nadu and southeast Andhra Pradesh receive rains from the northeast monsoon. The northeast monsoon take place from November to early March when the surface high-pressure system is strongest. The North Indian Ocean tropical cyclones Tropical cyclones occur throughout the year in Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea which brings devastating winds and heavy rainfall. Tropical cyclones are rapidly rotating storm system characterized by a low pressure center, strong winds and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain. Tropical cyclones typically form over the warm waters of Bay of Bengal. Subdivisions South India consists of the five southern Indian states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu as well as the Union territories of Puducherry, Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar. 
Puducherry and the other five states has an elected state government while the Lakshadweep and Andaman Islands are centrally administered by the President of India. Each subregion is further divided into districts. Each state is headed by a governor, who is a direct appointee of the President of India, while the chief minister is the elected head of the state government and represents the state's ruling party or coalition. States Carrot Note 1 Andhra Pradesh was divided into two states, Telangana and a residual Andhra Pradesh on 2 June 2014. Hyderabad, located entirely within the borders of Telangana, is to serve as joint capital for both states for a period of time not exceeding 10 years. Union Territories Demographics As per the 2011 Census of India, the estimated population of South India is 252 million, around one-fifth of the total population of India. The region's total fertility rate was less than the replacement level of 2.1 for all states with Kerala and Tamil Nadu having the lowest TFRs in India at 1.7. As a result, the proportion of the population of South India to India's total population has declined from 1981 to 2011. The population density of the region is approximately 463. Scheduled castes and tribes form 18% of the population of the region. Agriculture is the major employer in the region with 47.5% of the population is involved in agrarian activities. About 60% of the population lives in permanent housing structures. 67.8% of South India has access to tap water, wells and springs or other major forms of water supply. South India has better demographic indicators when compared to the rest of India. The average literacy rate in South India is approximately 80%, considerably higher than the Indian national average of 74%, with Kerala having the highest literacy rate of 93.91%. South India has the highest sex ratio with Kerala and Tamil Nadu being the top two states. The South Indian states rank amongst the top ten in economic freedom, life expectancy, access to drinking water, house ownership and TV ownership. Of the three demographic-related targets of the Millennium Development Goals set by United Nations expected to be achieved by 2015, Kerala and Tamil Nadu achieved the goals related to improvement of maternal health and of reducing infant mortality and child mortality by 2009. Language is the largest linguistic group in South India is the Dravidian family of languages. A family of approximately 73 languages the major languages spoken include Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam. Tulu is spoken by about 1.5 million people in coastal Kerala and Karnataka and Kangani, an Indo-Aryan language, is spoken by half a million people in the Kangan coast. English is also widely spoken in urban areas of South India. Urdu is spoken by around 12 million Muslims in southern India. Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam and Kangani are listed amongst the 22 official languages of India as per the Official Languages Act. Tamil was the first language to be granted classical language status by the Government of India in 2004. Other major languages declared classical were Kannada, Telugu and Malayalam religion. Hinduism is the major religion with about 80% of the population adhering to it. About 11% of the population follow Islam and 8% follow Christianity. Evidence of prehistoric religion in South India comes from scattered Mesolithic rock paintings depicting dances and rituals in Stone Age sites such as the Kupgal petroglyphs of eastern Karnataka. Hinduism, often regarded as the oldest religion in the world, traces its roots to prehistoric times in India. The main spiritual traditions of South India include both Shaivite and Vishnavite branches of Hinduism. Although Buddhist and Jain philosophies had been influential several centuries earlier. Shravana Belagola in Karnataka is a popular pilgrimage center for Jains. 
Ayyavaji is spread significantly across the southern parts of South India. Islam was introduced to South India in the early 7th century by Arab traders in Malabar coast of Kerala and spread during the rule of Deccan. Sultanates from 17th to 18th century. The Muslims in Kerala of Arab descent are called Jonakarma Pillar. Christianity was introduced to South India by Thomas the Apostle, who visited Musaris in Kerala in 52 CE and baptized Kerala's Jewish settlements. Kerala is also home to one of the oldest Jewish communities in the world who are supposed to have arrived in the Malabar coast during the time of King Solomon. Economy the economy of South India after independence in 1947 conformed to a socialist framework, with strict governmental control over private sector participation, foreign trade and foreign direct investment. Through 1960 to 1990, the South Indian economies experienced mixed economic growth. In the 1960s, Kerala achieved above-average economic growth while Andhra Pradesh's economy declined during this period. Kerala experienced an economic decline in the 1970s while the economies of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka consistently exceeded national average growth rates after 1970 due to reform-oriented economic policies compared to other Indian states. As of 2013-14, the total gross domestic products of the region is 27.1 trillion rupees. Tamil Nadu has the third highest GDP and is the second most industrialized state in the country. Over 48% of South India's population is engaged in agriculture, which is largely dependent on seasonal monsoons. Some of the main crops cultivated in South India include paddy, sorghum, pearl millet, pulses, sugarcane, cotton, chili and reji, arica, coffee, tea, rubber and spices are cultivated on the hilly regions. The staple food is rice and the delta regions of Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri are amongst the top rice producing areas in the country. Frequent droughts have left farmers debt-ridden forcing them to sell their livestock and sometimes to commit suicide. The region accounts for 92% of the total coffee production in India. South India is also a major producer of cotton, tea, rubber, turmeric and spices. Other major agriculture-related produce include silk and poultry. Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Coimbatore and Tiruvannantapuram are amongst the major IT hubs of India and Bangalore is also known as the Silicon Valley of India. The growth of information technology hubs in the region have spurred economic growth and attracted foreign investments and job seekers from other parts of the country. Software exports from South India grossed over 640 billion rupees in fiscal 2005-06. Chennai known as Detroit of Asia accounts for about 35% of India's overall automotive components and automobile output. The region supplies two-thirds of India's requirements of motors and pumps and is one of the largest exporters of jewelry, wet grinders and auto components. The region is a major producer of textiles.